Hi everyone, it's the Horror Nerd. I'm going to be doing a review on Ginger Snaps. I just got this. It was just released. Um, and it is one of my favorite werewolf movies. It's more of like a teenage werewolf movie. It's really good and you should definitely see it if you have not. Um, so anyways, it's about um, Bridget and Ginger. And Ginger... Um, Bridget and Ginger, 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 are very morbid. Um, in the beginning of the movie, you see all these pictures of them both, like, dead and stuff, and, like, one of them's hanging, and another one um, is in a fence, and there's all these gross pictures, and so they're very morbid, and they like to do really morbid things. And they're very standoffish, and nobody really talks to them, but everybody makes fun of them because they're always together, and they're always just, like, we don't give a fuck about people, and they make fun of people. Well, <clears throat> one day, um, Bridget is talking and making fun of Trina, one of the um, bitches in the school, and Trina overhears her and is like, oh, you're such a bitch, blah, 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 blah. Well, that night, um, Bridget decides that she wants to, like, take her dog and make it look like her dog got mutilated, and Trina's dog. And so they're, like, off to go and do that, and then they're going through a park, and all of a sudden, um, Ginger gets taken away by something, and obviously it's a werewolf, um, but they don't obviously know that, and so, um, she gets taken away by something, and she gets bit. Now, after she gets bit, like, a lot of weird things happen. Something interesting, um, that happens is that, um, the day that she does get bit, she just starts her, menstru her menstrual period, and, um, so she's cursed, and so, basically, the whole movie surrounds Ginger turning into a werewolf, and what happens, and she gets, like, really sexual, and really crazy, and she starts getting, like, strands of gray in her hair, gray or white, in her hair, and she starts, like, being slutty and stuff, and then she ends up having sex with, like, one of the most popular guys, and then he ends up becoming a werewolf, and she grows a tail, and she gets, like, their face makeup, um, it's pretty cool, um, I give it a 10, because I think it's an incredible movie, it's really good, the werewolf is okay, it doesn't look CGI'd, um, I'm gonna watch the, um, because on the back of here, it has new interviews with actors, Emily Perkins, Jesse Moss, and makeup effects artist Paul Jones. Um, new women in horror panel discussing ginger snaps. Audio commentary with director John Fawcett. Um, audio commentary with writer Karen Walton. Deleted scenes. Theatrical trailer. Creation of the Beast. So I'm going to watch this. Um, I haven't watched it yet because I wanted to do these reviews. Um, and so... Uh, so I'm going to watch them, and then I'll let you guys know um, on my Horner page, you know, how it was made. But I, I don't think it was CGI'd. It wasn't that great of a werewolf. Um, not my favorite werewolf, but it was pretty cool. So I hope you guys watch it. It's really good. It's pretty gory. I mean, I give the gore, like, a six. It's pretty gory. and um, But it's really, really good. And if you like werewolf movies, you must see Ginger Snaps. So... Watch it and tell me what you think. And if you really, really like it, um, buy it because it's on Blu-ray now and it's the collector's edition. So, have a nice day. It's the Horner. Bye.